Ms. Jackson, you've dragged your ex-boyfriend to court to prove he fathered your 26-year-old daughter, Tanika. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, you claim he's denied her since birth because you were caught in a love triangle with him and his wife. That's a lie, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. One week ago, you reopened your child support case in which you state Mr. Brown owes you $20,624.08. That's that yes, Your Honor. That's a lie, Your Honor. Mr. True. Brown, you and your wife claim you can't be the father because you were on the road for three months during the time of conception. That's true, Your Honor. You've basically taken care of your daughter alone. That yes, is not Your true, Your Honor. Yes. That is not my true. My daughter and my son. Ms. Brown, I've been taken care of. your entire life, you were told that Mr. Brown was your biological father? Yes, Your Honor, I was. Well, by Mr. and Mrs. Um, Brown, they told me different stories that he might not be my father, but my mother always told me that. And so why, after did. all these years, why do you reopen the child support case? Because she don't... Because my husband, husband don't want he, her. It's, it's still going on. She's still after my husband. For 26 years, it's still been going on. These people have been denying my daughter for 26 years. She don't know who her daddy years. is. Ms. 26 Your years, they've been yeah. denying my... Ladies... Give me a minute so I can process this. I want to understand how this all started. My I husband start, don't want I met him at the club, Your Honor. The club? I met him at the club, and we started talking, we started dancing. He told me he'll be back. And I, when, he, when he left, he left with his wife, Miss Brown. I asked him who she was. He told me if she was just a friend. So he came back to the club. That we, night? That night. We danced, we partied, and then we went to the apartment. In Is that an, an apartment? No, yes. mine. No, that's apartment. a lie. That's it was an apartment, Your Honor. It was Whose apartment? apartment? It was their no, no. apartment. We was in the back of the room. She came in the door. She said, come on out, let me talk to you. She left, and then later on, we were still in the apartment. I didn't know that he was dating her because he told me that they had broke up. So you're at the apartment with him. Yes, yeah. Having sex yes, unprotected. Yes. You say Miss Brown walks in. Yes, And you, me you, you remember it being Miss Brown? Yes. Did you ask him why was she coming over here then while I'm at your apartment? That was my apartment, y'all. No, I didn't. That so, Miss no Brown, freak. what happened? Me and Dwight was having problems. It was much later when I caught her in the house with him. The first time I caught them together was at the club. Like, I couldn't find him anywhere. So I walked around the parking lot looking. He wasn't out there. He wasn't in the club. I said, well, one place he could be because his car was still outside. So we, I knocked and knocked on the door of the bathroom. So I knocked and knocked. I said, Dwight, I know you're in there. I said, open this door. He cracked it a little bit. So when I pushed so... it on open, she in there, done screwed him in the bathroom. But I told her, I said, you can go. So you find him in the club in the bathroom? Yes, ma'am. And you pop the door open. Yes, sir. They're in there. Yes, sir. And what happens during this confrontation? Okay, I told her, I said, you can go. It ain't about you. I got him. So I jumped on him. I let her leave. She walked out. After that, this was some months later, when I got to my apartment, I unlocked the door with the key. So at that point, I had sliding walk-in closets. I heard my closet door slide open. You could hear it? Yes, ma'am. And I heard somebody jump, you know, jump, grab the bed and went in the closet. I said, oh, no. <laughs> when I got inside, I went right to the closet, opened the door. She stayed up there naked, had to f*** my, my man in my house. Oh, wow. uh -uh. So even, you know, he kept fooling around with her, like you say, going back and forth. So I... So you knew that he kept an affair going with her? Yeah, off and on, yes. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah. So, were you all married at this time? Me and Mr. Brown had been together for about three or four years when he started messing with her. I want to go back to the point where you realized you're pregnant. We had moved. We moved to Albany, Georgia. Back and forth, he was telling me that he had to come to Jacksonville to take care of business, which it was, wasn't no business. It was being with her. Exactly right. And then he exactly came right. back one time. I told him that I had, I had a miscarriage. He told, stated to me, Your Honor, said that don't worry about nothing. We would try to have another child. I told the next time, I told him that I was pregnant. I took the test. I told him I was pregnant. We went to the clinic. The doctor had stated to me and him that I was pregnant. So you went together. Mr. Brown, do you remember going with her to the clinic? No, Your Honor. I don't. Do you remember being in a relationship with both of them at the same time, back and forth? Yes, Your Honor. You do? 
Were you sleeping with both of them without protection? Yes, Your Honor. So why do you deny that Tanika is your daughter if you know you've been with this woman over a span of time? Well, Your Honor, I've seen too many things happen. Like one morning, I thought she was at work. Come find out, she was out with another man. Well, was she supposed to be committed to you when you were committed to her? Yes, we was uh, kind of like staying together. Oh, so at that point, you and Ms. Jackson were living together? Yeah, we were staying together. Okay. This is what I'm tired of going through. This is not about the time they relationship. She supposed to have they relationship. Conceived. I don't care nothing about what they had going on. This is not he about me. He was in Jacksonville with, with me. This is about me. This is about me finding the DNA test, yeah. not them. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. During the time she got pregnant with this girl, he was in Jacksonville with me. He told me he hadn't been, up, he hadn't been home in two months, Your Honor. Just Your Honor, we he back was and with forth, me. back and forth. Your Honor. Okay, and so when he the time, was away and with Ms. Brown, were you with anybody else? No, I was in Albany, yeah. Georgia. I was staying and with my mother's sister. And doing that time, Your Honor, when he'll she... He'll come to George, George on Friday, and he'll leave that Friday evening and go and back to Jacksonville to her. Back and forth, back and forth, back and when forth. When he came to stay at my house, he stayed with me about two weeks. He said after he left me, he didn't even go home for that, another month. That's a so lie. Wait a minute. So been... you don't think the timeline adds up? She was supposed to have been born three months later than what she was born Stop. if he would have been there. He had been gone for three months, but instead she was born three months earlier. And every time, Your Honor, we asked her for a paternity test, she get mad. Why do you think she's avoiding the test? Because she knows it's not his daughter. At the point you find out you're pregnant... Yes, Your Honor. You, you tell him. Yes, you guys go together. Yes, Your Honor. From that point on, was he acting like Tanika was his child? Yes, Your was Honor. Was he excited about the child? Yes, Your Honor. He named her Tanika Lachey Brown. Was he, he at the hospital when she was born? Yes. No, he, he wasn't. Came, no, he, he came wasn't. He came in the hospital, Your Honor. He wasn't there when she was me, born. He asked me where she was. The nurse brought her back in the room. He put the robe on her and he fed her. Not only that, KJ, when she was born, he shoot pool. I, he came by no, the house she and he, he dressed her girl up. So bad. He dressed her and carried her to the pool hall with her. He was happy with his daughter. Did you take her around places with you, Mr. Brown? Yes, I did. Yes, she has your last name. Yes, Your Honor. That he Your didn't Honor? give her. Yes. He said he did okay. not sign her birth certificate. So, I, I, that's what I want to know. No, he said he... I asked my husband over and over again, did you sign the birth certificate? When Tanika was Honor, born... I don't know. Your I Honor, didn't, I didn't when sign that, no papers. Let me tell you that didn't tell you, Your Honor. When Tanika was born, another man was, uh, was on her original birth certificate as her father, not my husband. She, Miss, Miss, Miss Jackson was married at the time. Wait a minute now, Miss Jackson. When did you get married in there? She was married all the she time. Was married. When she I was got, messing with honor, him. Your Honor, I got married, but I got it. She my was husband got married. it alone because he went to Georgia and got married to another they woman. They put the other Mr. man Judge name on the birth certificate. Her husband name he was on the birth certificate. When we was born together, he know because at that time, we were seeing each other. We were seeing each other. You were Mr. seeing Brown. Mr. Brown? Yes. I have proof that Mr. Brown signed my birth certificate. I'd like to see that. Ron, will you hand me the evidence, please? Man. This yeah. is a copy of your... My birth certificate. That's, birth that's certificate. a birth certificate that was... That's a fake, Your Honor. That it's a fraud. <laughs> her mama been lying to her, and she's sitting here and believing her. No. So, so wait, on this birth certificate, it does say Dwight Stanley Brown. He named he me and spelled that. the name. He was with me. Do you want to tell that birth name and name me. This now, I do not certificate. see a signature on this birth certificate, Because he did not though. sign it. I sign. He did not sign it. Is that why you're saying she kept avoiding the DNA That's test? That's right, Your Honor. That's right. I want to go to the bar, Your Honor, and show you something from my maid. Go ahead, ma'am. Okay, the first time, it was 1990. I paid money to have a test done for her. She didn't show up. Again, the summer of 90. She said, don't keep calling me. That's an insult about DNA testing. Every time we ask for something. Same thing in 1992. Okay, then we went to Ms. Jackson again. Went up to the lab again to get a DNA testing. I paid my money, okay? My husband didn't pay child support. Your Honor, I did. 
I talk to her. That's true. This story is so dramatic, isn't it? And she well, said, it's just. And she never, she never came to me. This whole thing, that, Honor. No, that was one word, but I wasn't going to use that word. Uh, but that one applies. You know, ever since uh, this one, the last one, y'all, in two thousand and two, <laughs> we we went with Jackson again. She told us to stop no, calling your her. Honor. Ask no, Your Honor. No, test. Your Honor. All right. Your feeling is that you keep asking her for this DNA test over a span of 12 years, and, she and she's not avoiding it but now, purposefully. But now she wants a DNA test now. Okay? I was more than glad to come And here. you're saying he's paying child support for he the pay- child. <laughs> he have already, Let me see already that, paid 4000 and And, and, no, no, and you don't yeah. believe he's the father? No, ma'am. That's the money that he have paid for child support that she said he was never on child support. He never did nothing for her. You believe she's avoiding the DNA test because yes, she's getting this money. I figured that she did that because she know that Tanika's not my husband's daughter. I'm the one that wanted the DNA test because I got tired of going through this for 26 and years. Mama, I can imagine, hun. And I've been on this mad. triangle for 26 years now, and I'm very tired. I don't care about what they went through. I care less. I just want to know if he's my father. <laughs> Miss Jackson, why not get it over with so she doesn't have to be 26 years old standing here in tears today? Yana, I have a piece of paper I'd like to present. I would like to see that. Ron, can you hand me the evidence, yes. please? What is this, ma'am? This is a document signed by Dwight Stanley Brown. Brown. Yes. This okay. is an that's... acknowledgement of paternity. That's not mm-hmm. my husband's signature. Signed the 24th day of no, September he write, 1990. He didn't write his, didn't write yes, his yeah. name. That is not my husband's signature there. Right. Yeah, go right there, Dwight, on Hand screen. Hand this to Mr. and Ms. Brown and let them look I at that, see that signature. I can that from here. That is not my husband's signature. Is that your signature, sir? No, Your Honor. It's yes, not. Your Honor. That's his yes. signature. Ron, take this pen. And I want you to have Mr. Brown sign that sheet of paper right above. I want to see your signature. Now you can look on his driver's license, Your Honor, mm-hmm. and tell what his signature is. He didn't sign that. That is not his signature on that. And I'm throwing some old documents, too, like she did that birth certificate. Thank you. This is substantially similar to me. If it's my signature, I wouldn't misspell my own name. Indeed, where do you see it's misspelled? Right up there where the L and the E is. Remember, you're under oath. I want to know the truth. I'm looking at these two signatures, and no. they are very, very similar. No, Your Honor, I didn't sign it. Yes, you did, Honor. Yes, you did sign this signature. Do you remember executing a series uh, of paperwork at the child support office? It there. never did happen. Because when I went in that office... The lady met me, and she told me like this, we are for the mothers and not the fathers. I was with him. And then I left out the door. No, you were not She oh, wanted okay. child support, but she, didn't want, she wasn't willing to give him a paternity test. But she was... I didn't him never to, deny but she wanted child him. Child well, at this point, point, with an acknowledgement of paternity <laughs> executed in 1990, she really didn't need one. My husband said he when you never, acknowledge my paternity... My husband said he has never signed any yes, documents. Your Honor, yes, he did. And I believe my husband. Then your husband I know what kind of woman Miss Jackson is. He lied to you. And I will stick by my husband and I he believe what you. my husband said. But, Miss Brown, let me ask you this, because you keep saying you, you, hmm. this woman, this kind of woman, this kind of woman, this kind of woman, it's your husband's kind of woman. He been with her all the time. Yeah, I understand that, too. I understand that, too. It's the same lady. Same lady that's in your closet. Same lady that's behind the bathroom door. Yeah. Same, it's the same lady. But it, that doesn't mean that Tanika is not your husband's biological well, that's child. That's all I ever wanted to know, Your Honor. Well, that's his daughter. That's Honor. why we're here. Yes, right. ma'am. Ron, the envelope, please. Yes, ma'am. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Brown versus Brown, when it comes to 26-year-old Tanika Brown, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Brown, you are her father. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Jesus. Mama ain't got the laugh. And you knew that. Mm-hmm. You knew that. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Are you all right, Tanika? Go hug him. No, oh. he need to come over there and hug her. Uh -huh. this... come on, hug Mr. Brown, Mr. that's Brown. your daughter. That's your daughter. Sorry. You gonna forgive me? I forgave you a long time ago, Dad. When the truth presents itself in all of its beautiful color in the courtroom. Let's acknowledge it for everything it is. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Barlow, you say your eight kids look exactly like you, but the defendant's son, Jabril, looks nothing like you. And that's because you're not his father. And you know who is. Am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Winslow, you stand in court stating that Mr. Barlow is your son's biological father, but also say if he's not, there's a good reason for it. That's correct, Your Honor. So, Mr. Barlow, tell us why you doubt Jabril and who you believe his real father is. Your Honor, I doubt these things due to the fact that during the time of Jabril's conception, I was away. You understand? And he wasn't I was away, that away long, Your Honor. He was, alone. he was around enough for us to conceive. And While I was birth. away, you understand? But as I was away, I believe she was sleeping with the landlord. You do? Yeah. And, and that's not possible, and Your Honor. The landlord... Why do you believe that? What evidence do you have? Did you hear something? No. Nah, while something? I was away, I would call all the time. Because I, I got a long past of infidelity. I got a long history of infidelity. A very and long so, history. And so I left. When I went away, she said paybacks of... Okay, Straight let's, let's use the appropriate that's language. Exactly what she I said. never stated that, Your Honor. So he comes now, up with I me. go away. I've never stated that. While I'm away, I'm calling and stuff. She says, Yo, you calling me? He here. Call me back. Your Honor, the landlord was there and at I'm, the house. So you're saying when you would call, the landlord would be there and she'd tell you to call back? Yeah. He was doing his landlord responsibility. So why hang up on me when I'm paying be for the because phone Because he need my undivided attention to see what's going on with the house. So, Mr. Barlow, clearly, if the landlord's going to repair something in the it's apartment, not the landlord he has to be in the apartment. So if she says, I'm going to call you back because the landlord is here, and I, have, just because and I have... because he has to make sure he's fixing the right thing? I'm calling at 10 p.m. Oh, and he there. You call at 10 and, is, and he's there. Yeah, the land, he is. The landlord's at the house at 10 p.m. Yeah, and you know why you're beds honor? and stuff. You know why Put you're Put together honor? the beds. You know why you're Put together honor? the beds? Yeah. You know why I'm you're like, honor? How, how he Because got... he doesn't have contractors. He, he does things... So what his so-called girlfriend about this? ...story building himself. He doesn't have a hired contractor. He's doing everything himself. So if he has to come at 10 o'clock at night to fix some water that's leaking from my roof with three children in my house, then that's what he's going to do. Well, Mr. Barrow said he was down the way. beds. Okay, now, when, I, when I'm in the house, I'm pregnant with Mr. Barlow's baby. I can't put bump beds together. I can't put these uh, entertainment center together. So, yeah, if Mr. Barlow is absent and he can't do it, who else is going to do okay, it? Okay, listen. This man running a business. Now, you, you got to pay me $2,500 for rent, right? For what reason do I say, okay, you ain't got it, just give me $300? This is what happened. When I moved into this apartment building, oh, man, I had got duped by a crooked person. The landlord that I was supposed to move into the house in, I paid him $2,000. Okay, what I went to do is get my lights cut on, and they told me that the place that I was trying to rent wasn't even rentable. Therefore, I'm driving around in a U-Haul with no place to go. I come across the landlord, okay. and I tell him I have no money. I just gave my $2,000 to a landlord that so was crooked, and I furniture. can't even move in ask the house. The furniture. So what he says to me is, Okay, well, since you don't have anything right now and I see you with your three children in a U-Haul truck, you can move in without giving me anything. And when you get the deposit back from the previous landlord, then you can start paying me. So, Mr. Barlow, your point was he may have been interested in her or something because instead of the $2,500 that was... Who gonna take 300 He just took $300. Someone yeah. who felt sorry for All a right, now, check this mother. out. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I, I'm taking $300 <laughs> from you out of 25 I'm a businessman now, but yet you didn't just give me the other twenty two hundred. But I'm buying you furniture. I'm he buying didn't your son buy a any bed, furniture. And he I'm giving you a refrigerator. What furniture? 
Parker did he buy? You understand? What he's talking about. What furniture about did he buy? I didn't uh, have a, a living room set. Well, just a second. A living room set. A kitchen set. Oh. Like, once again, the bed that he put together. You understand what I'm saying? So you say he's down there, he's over there doing a lot of manly stuff? duties. Yeah, but how about this? I'm away and over 80 times, over, no exaggeration, over 80 times I call and I'm like, yo, what's up, babe? Hey, I can't talk right now. Click. And so I call right back. You know what? Hey, yo, you know what? We can't talk right now. Click. Hey, yo, hey, yo, I got the landlord here. Duh, 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 duh. Click. You and said over I... 80 times. Over 80 the... times. Yeah, I know. You he... called and she basically just hung up yeah, on Yeah, hang up on he me. He did when I came home one time. He I caused pop up. to hold I pop the phone. Up. I he pop... caused to try to see if he could hear noise in the background. I'm at home with three boys. I don't have time okay. for him to hear the. Let me if hear who's in the, the background. Call, Be quiet. Let me see what's somebody you're not dealing with. That's his own insecurities because of his past and all the team he has done on me. He expected because. Because I haven't cheated on That's him. It. You know what the real problem is, Your Honor? Mr. Barlow didn't know what the landlord looked like, so when he finally saw the landlord, he was like, oh, I thought the landlord was old. When he found out he was around our age, that's when his insecurities came in. I came you know, home one time, I just pop up, right? I pop up one time, they crossing the street. I think the dude is stranger, because I ain't never met him yet. And so they walking across the street, and I'm like, yo, I approach all of them. Hey, what y'all doing with this stranger? Do, what you doing with my children? They like, he ain't a stranger. He the landlord. <laughs> you know, he, they, they got ice cream and sodas. You know what I'm saying? And he, then I come home another time, day, they playing honor. football. You know what I'm saying? They playing ball. He, he always at the house. For what? That's a very nice landlord. <laughs> yeah, he's listen, very nice. Listen. So He's very nice. Mr. Barlow. <laughs> You say you feel like the baby doesn't look like you. Man, he look like this dude. Only reason I can't tell you that they got the same hair color is because he bald head. My son obviously has African-American features. However, he doesn't look like me or Mr. Barlow. So what you're saying is your son is very fair-skinned. Like, oh, he's a beautiful little boy. Yeah, that's me. And so you feel like when you look at him, though, you don't see any resemblance. Nah, he ain't me. He doesn't look like me or Mr. Barlow. So now that leads me to believe the only way that this baby is not this man's child is if, if he's not mine. I believe something happened at the hospital and it would devastate me, Your Honor. I have a strong connection with my son. Now, if this, if this boy isn't my son, that means not only do I have to find out who he actually belongs to, but then I have to find out where my biological child is. This is a first in this courtroom. You're saying that you question whether or not you're this child's mother. Yes. And I this do. is really upsetting you. You're, you're serious. Yes, I'm serious because every day when I go somewhere, whether it's the grocery store, where there is, wherever we go, the doctor, we went to a place for my kids to jump, jungle gym jumping, and a woman, a, a Hispanic lady sat there and she was like, is he Hispanic? Is he mixed or something? Um, I researched, I did a research online. The research is right here. Let me see and, that. And 28,000 babies have been switched at the hospital and find out later on that, that their parents aren't their biological children. Let me be clear. You pulled up research, and this is research that talks about the fact that there are about 28,000 babies that get switched at birth, at birth in the hospital. In the hospital. Every year. Every now, year. sometimes that's temporary, but sometimes permanently. Sometimes permanently. I just want to And know. you have so much doubt, not just surrounding the paternity, but also as to whether or not you're the child's mother because everywhere you go, people are asking you... Everywhere I go. It's and everywhere I go. It's like, it's so unfair because they treat me like I'm a kidnapper. It's, it's really not funny. It's not a joke. I'm gonna take a moment. I wanna look through my paperwork and make sure I have some answers before we go any further. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. So give me a moment. Court is adjourned All until right. further notice. We're back in session in the case of Barlow versus Winslow. You've claimed this child could have been switched at birth. Yes, Your Honor. So I needed to go back to my chambers. I needed to do some research. I needed to look through the results. I had to find the maternity 
portion of the results so that I could confirm whether or not you are, in fact, Jabril's mother. These results state that the probability of maternity is 99.9999%. You, Ms. Winslow, are Jabril's mother. Thank you, Your Honor. That's all I needed to hear, Your Honor. And I can see you're truly relieved. <laughs> it's a weight lifted off of my shoulder. So, Mr. Barlow, you truly believe there's another reason why the child doesn't look like you. I believe that was just an excuse. Like I said, excuses no, are only good for those excuse. who are using. If he's not yours, he would switch that birth. That's you something what that I'm I strongly believe. Do you think I would play like with so, something like that, Your Honor? That's something serious. That's hurtful. I have been living with this, as I stated, since he was born. I have cried to so, my mother so, so, about so, so this. So my son was so born, why would I make came up to the house like to see that. the baby. So what does the landlord look like? Your Honor, the landlord is Colombian. And yeah, when you go places, people say the baby looks Hispanic and Mr. Barlow is convinced that it's the landlord's baby because he's Colombian. That's correct. And I have never I cheated so? on this man. I've been with this Can, man yeah. for 11 years, off and on. Throughout the whole time I've been with him, he have not only had twins on me, but triplets as well. So it's not like it's just like a little simple thing like he hasn't done anything to me. He has done the most. Which, yes, as a woman, which, which I stand here with my more backbone reason to and I've leave. accepted all of his wrongdoing. And I still love him to death with the, to the bottom of my heart. So why would I wait till Excuses he's... Excuses are best for those who use them. You understand what I'm saying? Mr. Barlow, you are serious. You believe Probably. this landlord has a little bit too much of a presence in your life. Man, he had too much of a presence in their life. I was always away. He had a presence in our lives because he wasn't there. It'd be times I'd sit he there calls and, the baby and I talk. Son. I talk to my baby. Yeah. So yeah. you do call Jabril your son. He, he does. Two years and, old. He signed, and he signed the birth certificate. And Jabril, and Jabril, and Jabril right calls you his daddy. Yeah, he say dada. And he could say that papa. He say padre. You know, no, he, he, he can say a lot of Spanish stuff. He does stuff. not. <laughs> you know That's saying? him being funny, Your Honor. He does <laughs> he not say Spanish. Spanish he does not. You know what I mean? Like... You saying the child speaks Spanish, no, too? No, Your Honor... <laughs> yeah, like, not, not, Your Honor, he doesn't speak Spanish. <laughs> My son talked baby talk, like, like normal on, babies. Man. Normal. And what's the I evidence thought, you were I going said, to present? I said, apaga la luz. Apaga la luz. Here, go straight to the light switch and try to cut it off. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing wrong with a child being bilingual, but, but you exactly. saying it well, makes well, well, you feel like... It's hereditary. It's not. It's not hereditary. No, it actually isn't. Okay. Um, anyway, the evidence you were going to present... The birth certificate, Your Honor, that Mr. Barlow so gracefully signed. So, Mr. Barlow, this is your name? Yes, Listed as the name. father on the birth certificate. Yes, it is. So, so you, he didn't I was it. there during the delivery. I was there to sign the birth certificate because there's no way for me to say, this is not my child. I got nine children. And out of those other eight children, there's been spots in their life that I missed. And I said, if this child is mine, I will not there's miss no if. one single day. There's no if, Your Honor. There's and I was if. there. Even when I was there signing that, I told her, and she could tell you, after this, we'll, we'll, we'll get a DNA test, we'd be fine. But we well, left that alone. But you understand that by signing this birth certificate, it... you're considered to be this child's legal father. I am his legal father right and now. And so you accept... Well, yes, you are. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is you're also still questioning whether or not you're his biological father. And it shouldn't be a question, Your Honor. He knows that this is his son. So, yes, Your Honor. if I open the results and it has been determined that, in fact, this landlord or someone else is Jabril's biological father, you understand because you signed the birth certificate, you are still considered the legal father and you'll be responsible financially to support this child? Yes, Your Honor. We got home, the landlord was there looking at the baby. That's not when you true. came home from the hospital? That's not yeah, true, Your Honor. Home, the landlord was, there, was right there in the kitchen. To collect rent. Whatever, that you wasn't paying. But anyway... Well, how was he there to collect it if I wasn't paying it? All right. Your Honor, he's being foolish. Trust me, if I was sleeping with the landlord, I wouldn't have had to scrape up that rent, honey. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey. <laughs> and, because, and, and I believe because she was, that's the reason she didn't have to scrape it up. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, give me that. That's fine. Thank you. I'm tired, <laughs> you know I'm I'm tired of talking about the rent money. I want to talk about the paternity. I'm ready for the results. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Barlow, you are the father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. So, the bottom line is you are the mother and you are the father. And ultimately, you two have got to get past all of this that you've brought upon yourselves. Because sometimes when you live in confusion, you can't grow, you can't build. But a child needs to grow up in a family that is healthy. And all this questioning and talking about one another, I mean, you didn't even know if you were a child's mother. I mean, this is how crazy it got that there was so much doubt in your house, you had people convincing you you weren't the mother. <laughs> That's true, Your Honor, I did. Ms. Watkins, you opened your case today because your childhood sweetheart has now become an adult headache, and he's denying your one-month-old son, Noah. You are 1,000% certain he fathered your son, and you have the medical evidence to prove it. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Jamillion Washington, you testify that you are 1 million percent certain you didn't father the plaintiff's newborn son and claim the only reason she is deeming you the father is because of a childhood crush. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so, Ms. Watkins, why do you think Mr. Washington is denying your son? Honestly, Your Honor, I feel it's because he just doesn't want to take care of his responsibilities, but he's ready to start his rap career, and that's stopping him from wanting another child and Your starting Honor, over again. Your Honor, excuse me, but, um, I'm a good person and I just want to do the right thing. If she's not 100% sure that I'm the father, how am I supposed to be 100% sure that I'm the father? You gotta make this situation make sense, Your Honor. Make it make sense! <laughs> that's exactly what we're here to do, is make it make sense. So I want to go back and start. Get, what was the nature of your relationship? How did you two meet? Well, Your Honor, we first started off when we were kids. Um, but as we got older, he did. We branched off. And, um... We just reconnected just recently. So, wait, there. you were childhood friends? Yes, ma'am. So, okay, and then at some point, you all became boyfriend and girlfriend, were no, intimate? What, what? No, no we Your as... Honor, um, we did. We, we talked when we were younger. We stopped talking. And then I just moved down here and found out she was staying here, so we ended up being connected, He knew talking, I was staying here when he talking, came down here. Honor. He knew we was down here. When, okay, when, so, I, so bottom line is, at some point, you all start having a sexual relationship. That is yes, correct. Yes, we were, we were talking. We had honor. a sexual we had relationship No, you weren't just talking, we obviously, here. or you wouldn't no, be here. No, like, let me explain, Your Honor. Okay. All right, so I came down here, knew she was staying here. We ended up getting connected, having sex. We were, we wasn't Your Honor, in no committed we had relationship. Sex we were, he we got was down never here. in a real relationship we was, or I anything agree. like that, Your Honor. I we agree. We were just sex buddies, if you, if that's what you want to call will. it. Sex buddies. If, we if, was. If that's, if that's what you want to call it, Your we Honor. Was. So that's what the young people call it now, sex buddies. <laughs> <laughs> like, but we, we were never that in a relationship. That don't even sound right. Or committed or anything like that. We were just. He did explain to me that he didn't want to be in a relationship. He just got out of one. So I, I was okay with that. I wanted to give him some space and it was okay with me, but we were sexually active. So, as soon as now, down here. okay, I need to ask you this, Miss Watkins, respectfully, was he your only buddy? Um, so, before he got down here, I was with my firstborn's father. Um, but as soon as he got down here and we started messing around, I was no longer messing around with him. It was, like, him. actually, like, a month and a half. 
So you're admitting that you had a previous relationship that basically ran all the way up into the time you reconnected with Mr. Washington. That's correct, Your Honor. So, Mr. Washington, do you agree or disagree? Did you think that she was still in a relationship with her child's father? Well, Your Honor, yes, I do, because they were still <laughs> together every single day. And she actually told me she, she said my name while she was having sex with him. <laughs> Wait! And, and everything. <laughs> Hold on, Miss Watkins. That's, I don't think that's in the co-parenting playbook. Do you, Jerome? <laughs> and, and this actually was, like, during the time span of, like, when the baby was, like... Conceived. Conceived. No, that is a lie. Let me be very brief with this. We were... Hold on, hold on. Now, wait. Don't start because... stuttering. So, take a minute, take a breath, and tell me the truth. Okay, yeah, that's not a problem. Okay. So, what happened in that situation was we had went out one night and we were drinking. And when we got back home, he came... He did come on to me. My firstborn father came on to me and he started to do... We started to do some sexual acts, but we did not finish that night. But you engaged in sex long enough to call his name. <laughs> it was... <laughs> Your Honor, she, she said... Unless that's just a lie. Was and not. you were trying to make up... Trying to make him feel better about having sex with your supposed ex. I don't know what this mess is. Bottom line is... Well, you had sex with your ex. And you also were having sex with Mr. Washington. Yes, but it wasn't, like, on a same-day basis or, like... Okay, it, was it only takes one. one. Time thing. My point is this. <laughs> My point is this. At some point, you realize you're pregnant... Right. So, I pulled him aside and I said, Jamillion, I'm pregnant. I don't know how far along I am. Um, but once I get my due date, I'll let you know. So... But when you say to a man... I understand. I'm pregnant. Yes, I understand. And, and when... And I don't know how far along I am. And when I find out, I'm gonna let you know <laughs> if you're the father. That is paternity doubt. I mean, I'm trying to see your side. Right. But it doesn't work. Well, that, no, that is paternity doubt. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. I, I never stated to him that I did not have doubt. I never stated to him that, you know... But your early testimony said, Your Honor, I was not sleeping with that man. I was only co-parenting with that man. I didn't have anything to do with that man <laughs> until that time he started having sex with me and then I called <laughs> Mr. Washington's name. <laughs> and it's starting to concern me that you're doing a, a lot more giggling than you are just testifying honestly about how you got here. What was going on in your life when you found out you were pregnant? Beautiful, beautiful little boy. Once we found out I was pregnant, he kicked me out of his house. And, I mean, I had, during my whole pregnancy, fending for myself. Wasn't there to rub my belly. Wasn't there to provide food for us to eat. He wasn't there. And knowing that I'm pregnant, big possibility that he's yours, still didn't care. But the truth is, he still has doubt. Is that right, Mr. Yes, Washington? Honor. And she actually never told me that she was 100% sure that I was the father. It was a possibility that someone else could be the father at the time. This was dating back to... Your Honor, the only someone else that there is is my firstborn's father. That's it. I don't want you to come on here and try to make it seem like I'll just be sleeping around because I don't. All right. So, take me to the birth. Was Nothing. he there? He was not there for his birth. Um, but what I will say is I did not call him until after Noah was born. Um, so I do give you that. All right. I had came in, went to go get a DNA test. She said they don't do DNA tests at this hospital. She basically lied and told me that they do do DNA tests. And when I got there, they... So they... you're saying Miss Watkins told you to come up to the hospital. Did you I put did. your name on the birth certificate, Mr. Washington? No, no I did not. <laughs> he did not. I, I did not. He I, came I when we were being discharged. did discard. not see no birth certificate or anything. All right. I wanted to give him the chance to be in Noah's life, but he told me he would not do it until he found out for sure. I, I said, okay, I'm fine with that. You weren't dodging the test. No, I was not. All right. So, you submitted some medical evidence as well, Ms. Watkins. That is Watkins. correct, Your Honor. 
Can you please cross over and step to the monitor okay. and explain to the court what you believe this evidence shows? Okay, so Jamea denies my son, but what are we looking at? Identical twins. <laughs> same lips, same nose, Your Honor, and the same pretty eyelids, okay? Very small. They look identical, Your Honor. I don't know why he denies them. After that heat, my son came home with hairy legs. Okay. So... When he was born, he had hairs on his legs that you could not miss. Jamilian explained to me while I was pregnant that him and his kids came out with hair all over their body, mainly on their legs and their butt. My son has hair on his legs and his butt. Also, my son has a medical condition. He spit Let me look in the court split. papers. You submitted that your son has pyloric stenosis. That is correct. And was he okay. diagnosed with the... Explain to me what pyloric stenosis is from your experience. What have you experienced with your son? He has forceful spits up. Okay. I, I have to feed him every two ounces instead of four, um, or he will spit up very forcefully. It's really like projective. Has he been diagnosed, he, though? He told me that his children come out with this medical condition. So is this the sum total of your medical evidence? That is correct, Well, Jerome, I guess we don't even need to open the envelope, right? Because nope. he's the father. She just nailed that with that exhibit. The father. I don't even know what Hairy that. legs. <laughs> Hairy legs. <laughs> All right. Listen, I am... Curious now. I want to learn more about this condition, so I'm going to call on Dr. Samantha Brown Parks. Jerome, will you please escort Dr. Parks into the courtroom? I have a few questions for her. Hello, doctor. Let's go up to the witness stand. Mm -hmm. Hello, Dr. Parks. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, I've got some questions for you. We have been discussing a condition called pyloric stenosis. Mm -hmm. Can you please explain to the court what is it exactly? So pyloric stenosis is a thickening of the area at the bottom of the stomach where it goes into the very per first part of the small intestine. So it kind of acts as a clamp for everything that goes into the stomach so it can't go farther to get into the small intestine. How, how does a child get this condition? So pyloric stenosis is multifactorial, meaning that it has both familial components that we inherit, kind of inherit, from our families, but it also has a lot of environmental components. Not so much genetics, there's not a genetic trait for it, but Scandinavian backgrounds, it tends to happen more likely. Um, and then, in families that have had it, there's a slight increased chance, but not a gene that's related directly to pyloric stenosis. Oh, wow. So no gene? Not that's been identified. So in essence, the fact that Noah has pyloric stenosis has absolutely no bearing on the paternity issue. Absolutely not. Well. Well, Your Honor, this is how I feel. The results will tell it all. I mean, I don't want to keep going back and forth and arguing about it. I might have. Have you seen Noah, Mr. Washington? Uh, I had only seen him the day he was born at the hospital. And since then, I ain't heard from him, him ain't seen, seen him, ain't tried to reach out. Matter of fact, I'm sorry, I did reach out to him and I asked him to set up a date together. We set it up. But then when it came down time to it for him to come, it went back to, I don't want to be in his life if he's not mine. I don't want to... I want to get that test first. And I said, so okay. So you, you really have been avoiding Noah. Like, I, I, I really want to know if the baby mom... Be right. Fired, I, and I'm saying, you've been avoiding child. knowing him on purpose because you just don't want to connect their face. until With, you know it's yeah, yours. Yeah, until it's actually mine. And if the, if the child He's is yours. actually mine, I'll Look at that. Forward. Come on, bro. I have All no right. problem with stepping you, you forward. Just come with the test results. Because at the end of the day, you knew you laid down with me. You knew, you knew you laid down with me. And when we laid down and we stopped having protected sex... You knew, you said yourself that you'd be popping them out. And you knew that I was pretty fertile myself. So I don't understand why you feel different or why you felt like you couldn't, you know, just work something out with me. You just left me high and dry. Like, I have it's no fine. problem with stepping up and actually 
taking care of the child, like I said, but I was I not like sure he... if the baby was mine. Like, yes, I understand. I, I just I, look, I just don't Mr. Washington, my time I think your doubt has been made clear. Yeah, there was doubt, and I think Ms. Watkins gave you every indication that at first she had doubt. So we are where we are, and the only thing we can do now to be able to move forward is to get the results, and I have those for you, Jerome. Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Watkins versus Washington, when it comes to one-month-old Noah Watkins, it has been determined by this court Mr. Washington, you are the father. <laughs> You're the father. It's a beautiful little boy. And that's Thank you, your, your little Honor. boy. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm going to be there. I'm going to step up. Like, I have no problem, like, taking them with me, picking them up, doing all of that. I just wanted to know if the baby was actually mine, Your Honor. Yes. Well, I always have open doors for you and your family as well. So. I see the tears in your eyes, Miss Watkins. What are you feeling right now? I'm sad I had to come here, but I'm glad that the process is done with so he can step up. It seems obvious that Mr. Washington was pretty important to you. <laughs> he was. You know? And as a woman, I've been there. I want you to talk to Dr. Jeff and be honest about what you really feel. Right? Right? Yeah. It's okay to say, I felt really abandoned. I was disappointed. I was angry. I was hurt. And I just want you to learn, because I want you to be the mother you can be to your children. And I, most importantly, I want you to be empowered as a young lady, okay?